Hey guys, it's Angelica and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm gonna tell you how to organize a room for two kids with only 12 square meters in area. Are you ready to begin? Let's go. Let's go ahead and open the door. Ta-da! Oh look, you have a warm welcome from a kitty. So it is dark right now because the lights are off. Let's turn them on. So here we have a switch right next to the door. So this switch turns on the little lights that are right here. And this green button turns the big light that is in the center. And you can see the fan is spinning. So we have a fan regulator here. So here you can have high intensity, medium intensity, low intensity, and you can turn it off. And this switch just regulates the intensity of the light. So here's the door and let's open it and see. So this is where we just came from. This is the cat house of this little friend, Jeffrey. See, he knows his name. <laughs> and here's the window. Just a side note, it is very nice to have pets. They really bring in harmony to the family and things like that. And they're just like super cute. You know, to pet once in a while, for example, when you're stressed. Oh, look, he's enjoying it. Okay, so here's the back of the door. We have the backpack stored here and the little bags. And here in the back, we have a map. It is actually in Russian, so we don't forget the language. Just a side note, when you're immigrating to another country, don't forget to still learn your own home language, otherwise you'll forget it. Well, let's move on now. So here's how it works. We divide a room into two halves. So see, this is the imaginary line like here. It goes all the way till, till that door in a way. So this half where the kitty is at, it's my sister's. And this half is mine. So how about we start off our tour? So here, the first thing that we have is the stand with a bunch of shelves. So, for example, here I have some books. Some of them are in Russian, some of them are in English. For example, well, SAT, it was long gone. I graduated high school, no more SAT for me. Here I have fashion magazines, Vogue, Cosmopolitan, The Style Magazine, Sports Illustrated, and others. Because you know I'm interested in fashion, so that's where I get my inspiration from. Here I have this little tablet. I have a set of letters, so you can create any phrase you like. And the coolest thing is that it lights up. I don't do quit, you know? I really love this phrase. Here we have some games. For example, this one is Spectrum Flags. You learn flags, countries and the capitals. It's in Russian. And this is, is also in Russian. It's 300 innovations from history. This is a fun way to learn and play. Here I have some art. Here are the pencils, pastels, and this is my doll from my childhood. I always keep it here. This is the shelf for homework. This is where I have binders from school any folders and here I have notebooks for example this one is Chinese you know I like learning Chinese so I actually just in my college I just finished the third level so now I'm moving on to the fourth one pretty exciting so here is where I keep all my jewelry this is the postcard that I got for my 18th birthday it looks really awesome oh my god this is just so sweet and on the top you can just put anything as a decoration here is my name it is spelled a little differently from the way you might expect it to be. Here is the table. It is pretty wide because we love when we have a huge workspace. It has two drawers right here. They're actually in the table itself, but these drawers are not. These ones we bought separately because it would be really nice. So here we have all the stuff and here's where we sit. Here's the chair. It has wheels, so it's really nice, we can move it. And the drawers have some stuff. For example, here I have my makeup things. Yes, I know I have a lot. <laughs> here I have art, the brushes. Here we have the markers for school. And here I have a disc for Bosu Ball. I would really recommend trying out Bosu Ball if you want a fun way to work out. Especially for cardio or to raise your heart rate up. Also here I have a computer standing and here what's really comfortable is that we have a hole and right there all of these wires go. So these ones are the chargers. So this one is for a computer, this one's for my phone and this one is the lamp. So this is very comfortable so you will not get tangled in the wires. I also have here two boards which are really comfortable. So you can push pin some papers here. You can write things such as notes for yourself or plans for today list, anything else you want here with a marker and you can erase it with these cute erasers. I really love these. They're so adorable and funny. Also what is cool is that the board is magnetic so you can put any papers here and magnet them to the board. If you don't want to make holes with the push pins, you can do the magnets. 
All right, so right here we have a window. So we have it covered and we have the jalousies. So here's the view. And of course it can open up right here. So right now it is closed. So to open it up, you have to take this thing and pull it. See, now it's louder. I usually close it when I make videos, but we like to keep it open, especially during the night, you know, for fresh air. We have these table lamps. So they're really cool is that you can turn them on, you can switch, and you can switch intensity. You can make them brighter and darker. So you can switch it up like this and turn it off completely. What is also cool about them is that they have USB cables. You have, they have USB cables right here. So you can charge something, for example, camera, like I do. This is my charging point, by the way. All right, let's move on to the bed. See, the kitty is already joining us. So the bed is high. It is almost as high as the hip. What we did this for is for the storage purposes because, you know, there's not that much space. So we store things underneath the bed. So here we have the drawers. Here I have all my nightgowns. See, even the kitty is interested. Okay, not anymore. Then right here, I have all my summer clothes for home. For example, shorts, t-shirts, things like that, or pajamas. And here I have sports clothes. So here I have bras, shorts, and here I have belly dance skirts. So I pretty recently discovered belly dance for me. This is a really great way to work out and a really fun way. I would definitely recommend trying it for you. Let's close this drawer. Also right there, as you can see, there are two shelves. So you can store anything such as books, school supplies, anything. And also under the table there, we, I have a trash can, right? So let's go ahead and go up. Hello, kitty. On the other side, we have another storage. So here you see there are two doors. One of them opens up to kind of nothing. This is the storage that I just showed you. And another one opens up to the under bed storage. So see right here, I have lots of things. So this is a yoga mat. Pretty recently, I also discovered another way to work out is yoga. I absolutely love it. I am very grateful that I discovered it. It is, okay, kitty, no, that's not a place for you. I am very happy about it. I would definitely recommend it for you <laughs> if you're trying to find a way to work out but without high intensity or anything else, or if you're too tough on the shoulders or knees or anything else. Okay, so let's move on. Right above the bed, there's a shelf. This is for our creations. So here, I have my own paintings. And look, there's a picture of me. <laughs> and here we have all our creations hanging. So these are the presents that I've done for my parents and my sister. So for example, this one I've done for my dad's birthday. This one I've done for my mom's birthday. This I did for my sister for, for Valentine's Day. And my sister has exactly the same side with the same thing on top. However, she has a drawing of the wings. I don't know if you watched the movie Wings yet. This is a really awesome cartoon. I really love it. My sister is also really obsessed with it. Here she has all the seven fairies in the transformation named Believix. I would definitely recommend it. It's an Italian movie. It has eight seasons. We absolutely love it. So here she has a bed, the same thing with the storage. Here she has her two boards. So they organize a little bit differently because she doesn't have a window. Look, she already has her things written on them. And here she has her table. She has a doll. She really loves dolls. And this is, by the way, this is the Wings doll. Wings fans forever. Here she has her computer and here we have a globe. So this is the globe that we share. It's in English because we, li we like to learn countries and capitals in English and in Russian. So here we have a globe and there we have a map. We like geography, this is our thing. So here she has lots of books. She also has this tablet. So she wrote YouTube is life and it lights up. Okay, no wait, I think it lights up on this side. Yeah, there it is. It's more fun this way, wouldn't you agree? By the way, I made this for my sister. <laughs> Let's move on to the bathroom. So here is the light switch. So here we have our closet. With a mirror, because I always like to look at myself, how I look like before I start my day. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it up. So here's the closet. So the top part here, all of this is my clothes. Because my sister cannot reach that high. <laughs> I know I have lots of it. 
and the bottom part is my sister's. So here she has, here's her clothes. Here on the bottom, we have, so these are the baskets with dolls. These are my sisters. She really, really loves playing with dolls. And here we have some games. So this one is Rumi Coop and Monopoly. Those are our favorites. And these are other games such as puzzles, memory. For example, matching games, I'm so good at it. You don't stand a chance. I'm just warning you right away. Here we have bingo with states. We really love geography, as we said before. And here we have all the other things such as games, puzzles. Here's my sister's backpack. There's a guitar. So basically all the other toys. Let's go ahead and go up and close it. And here we have two sinks. Okay, it looks like one is occupied. <laughs> and another one. So that one is my sister's. My sister's at school right now. Looks like the kitty is using this time. <laughs> and here's mine. So here we have a hand soap. This is the Cool Mint mouthwash. This is, this is the mouthwash that we used after brushing our teeth. I would definitely recommend it. And here is a mirror. Another one. Under the sinks, we have the two storages. So here are my sister's ones and here are mine. So for example, right here I have everything for the teeth brush. Well, and other, other things such as the wipes for the face. For example, right here I have two toothpaste. I would really recommend them. Those are Sensodyne. I use one in the evening, one in the morning. Why? Because both of them have different benefits. So technically I'm getting two benefits. And here I have the flossing. Remember everyone, floss your teeth every day. This is very important. Here we have our toothbrushes. So we use electrical brushes because they work very great when brushing your teeth. They have a special technology. They don't just brush, they kind of go in circlish motion like this. It's hard to see. <laughs> but they really help. Also, I would recommend brushing your teeth for a long time. We brush our teeth for six minutes. Here is another door. You might be wondering what that is. This is the bathroom. I mean, where the toilet and the shower is. Right now it's under construction, so I would not show it. Here are the robes and here are the hooks. These are the same hooks as the ones on the front door. And here we have a little bit of space. So here you can put anything, for example, a dollhouse. Well, if your kids really love playing dolls. Or you can put any storage here or just leave it empty if you like to keep it simple. All right, so here is how the room looks like from another side. We have an awesome room. I absolutely love our room. Even though it is small, we still managed to fit everything in. Just so we have two tables, two beds, two chairs, two closets, and there's still some space in the middle. I sometimes even use this space to work out, honestly, and it is enough. There, we have a clock on the wall. So if you'd like to keep a clock, there it is. And let's take a look at the room one more time and say goodbye to our little friend right here. Here's the room and that is the end of our tour. By the way, everybody, here is my cat. His name is Jeffrey Graf de Pirac. And also my name is Angelica. <laughs> Have you read or watched Saga of Angelica by Anne and Serge Gallon? This is a French novel. You should definitely read it or watch the movie. It is very good. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys, for watching my video and joining me today in my room tour video. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and click the notification bell so you would not miss new videos from me. Also, comment down below what was your favorite part of our room. And if you have any questions, just put them all in the comment section down below and I'll be more than happy to read them. Thank you again for watching my video till the very end and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye!